Glenn in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. For those that don't know where Ontario, because there is an Ontario, California, so I know, I always get grief. Everybody knows Ontario's in Canada. Yeah, well, everybody doesn't. All right, I have a small pair of stand mount speakers that I use with a small eight inch powered sub. It's a dual driver sub, one active, one passive radiator, okay? Uh, I live in an apartment building, and so at night I run the mains full range without the sub so I don't get killed by my neighbors. <laughs> I bet they appreciate that. My question is this, when I have the sub off but still in the room, does it act as a bass trap of some sort and have an effect on the sound? Yes, it does. Is it something you should worry about? No, probably not. But you did ask the question. And, and sorry, I apologize. Here, I mean, look at this. This is sad, right? Here's this cable. Here's our sub. This is a rel sub. And here's boards. Normally, this is covered with acoustic material. And everything is kind of nice. This is our listening room. But my lovely wife, Terry, decided that she's going to get everything redone, new fabric, kind of freshen the place up, which we all really appreciate. And I mean, she's the heart and soul of PS Audio. She takes care of all of us. She does all of our HR. She makes sure everything looks nice. I mean, she, she's, she takes care of us, and I appreciate that. But when the downtime comes, it looks kind of, looks kind of ugly. Okay. So what could affect it? If you look down here, maybe we can pull this off. Ugh. Okay, so this subwoofer is, it's on. And we shall endeavor to turn it off. Some, there it is, okay. So when a sub is off, or when you have a, a driver, a speaker driver in the room, this, this cone, can absorb sound. It acts as, I don't want to say a, radi a Helmholtz radiator. Um, it acts as a passive device that at certain frequencies will, when, when it, those frequencies push on this, when there's nothing attached to it to hold it in place, this will absorb sound and you'll dissipate some of that sound into the driver. When it's on, the amplifier holds it still, and of course it's probably making sound too, so you're not gonna worry about it. But drivers in a room, whether it's a subwoofer or you know, tweeters, not so much, but any kind of woofer-ish thing, at certain frequencies, you're going to put energy back into that woofer and absorb in it. Is the effect very big? Nah. I mean, again, I don't think it's anything I would worry about. We, we talked about this on one, of my, uh, on one of my daily posts, Paul's posts. Let me turn that back on so we don't miss our sub. Okay, that Lynn Audio Dealers, Lynn, the Scottish company, for many years, I don't know if they still do this or not, they insist that when they sell their speakers or they demonstrate their speakers in a dealer's showroom that there be no other drivers no other speakers in the room so it's a i think they called it their single their single enclosure demos and it's a little over the top but they had their reasons and there probably was an effect and it probably does sound better without the second pair of speakers in there but is it something i'd lose sleep over nah <laughs> all right Thanks for the question.